What's happening people, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm gonna to show you how to downgrade pipe from 2.0 to 1.9.9, so you can add the map importer, add in easy mods. It's just way easier to do a lot of things because it's less restricted on that version of pipe. So yeah, it's a bit of a weird, complicated process, but follow on through, pause when you need to, and it should be easy peasy and you'll get it relatively simple. So yeah, if this video helps you out and you really like it, give it a like. And if you like the channel, why don't hit the subscribe button? It's right there, you know, click it, click it, one of them. And also hit the notification bell to stay updated with all my videos. Let's get into this. Cool. So to start off, what you want to do is you want to join the Pipeworks Discord. I'll have a link in the description so you can you can join it relatively easy. You want to go over to the hashtags over here, and you want to go see where it says Beta Build Migration. Hopefully you can see that on my screen. So you click that, and then the first thing you click is see where it says Line Riders posted this photo. You want to click that, uh, click it again, and it says Open Original. It should bring you to a Google page. It looks like this. So if you're not good at visual, like as you, if you're not good at like you know, video learning and I'm going too quick for you. Maybe this can help you. It's a slower version, just pause the video and this helps you go through it one by one. I usually use this when I wanna, like what, what I'm showing you. So if I get lost teaching it, you can go back and pause it and look at this. It actually really helps. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure Steam is completely closed. So exit out of it, exit the window out of it, then go into this arrow down here in the right hand corner, right click on it and press exit. So it completely gets out of Steam. If you don't go completely out of Steam, this bit will not work. So make sure you exit Steam. What you want to do next is you want to right click on Steam, you want to click properties. You want to see where it says target. So you're going to be under the tab shortcut. See where it says target and it says, you know, a quotation e steam, steam.exe, and then a quotation again. After this quotation, space. So I'll, I'll delete mine just for, you know, demonstration purposes. So, you, so your cursor is there. After the quotation marks, you want to space. You want to do a minus or a dash, whatever you call it, wherever you're from, and put console. So C O N C O L E, and you want to click apply, and you want to press OK. So apply, OK. That should be good. If if this works, you should go into your Steam. So double click Steam. So if you've done this bit right, you should have store, library, community, your username, and you should have a new tab called console. Go into that that new uh, tab. You should have all this gibberish here of like coding and whatever, blah blah blah. What you, want to come, what you want to do is go down to where this cursor is flashing and you want to type this in. So go back to your, your Google page uh, to where these photos are. And what you want to type in is, so you want to type in this bit. So keep this, keep, so it's better to keep going back and forth and looking at these photos to make sure you're not, to make sure you're doing everything right. So basically what you want to do is you want to type this, this number in. I'll have it in the description if you want to like copy and paste it. But for, uh, you know, hearing, if you want to hear me say it, I'll do it now. So basically you want to type download underscore depot space make sure the space because if you don't space it won't work space 815780 space 815781 space 762808249979061420 press enter after you've done that after you've pressed enter it should start doing all this like weird stuff where it says you know downloading this downloading that wait for it to say complete when it says complete, it will give you a prompt. It will, it will prompt up on screen saying complete. X out of Steam. That's the last thing we need to do on Steam. So next, you want to go back over to Pipeworks. You want to go back into the same thing. You want to go into see where Mayhem has posted something. You want to click that Google document. It should bring you to a Google document that looks like this. And looks like installing and using Pipeworks Map Importer. And first thing you want to do is you want to download the Unity Mod Manager. So when you've done that, so when you've downloaded Unity Mod Manager and it's just, you know, on the side there, and you, you've, you've got the folder, drag it to the, de the desktop, go into it, and you find the one, you know, the file that you can run, so double click it. And basically what you wanna make sure here is, you wanna make sure this bit's on pipe, see so where it says the, the thing, so you have all these games, you wanna make sure it's on pipe, and you wanna make sure that this bit here is on your new pipe folder. And what I mean by that is, that whole thing we just did before where we typed in all the numbers and blah, 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 basically what it did was, it's made a new pipe, so a new whole application for pipe. So where this one is, is in your Steam folder. So go to Steam, so wherever you, you've saved Steam, go to Steam Apps, and you'll have a new folder here called Content. Double click Content, double click App, double click Depot, and you'll have, see where you have the new pipe folder, you have the new, all this new stuff, this is just an older version of pipe. So you still have your old pipe that you have in Steam, you can still play it if you want, you can still play the new version, blah, blah, blah. But this is just the older version here, so if you wanna, like, Experiment, experiment with the mods and all that stuff. So this is what you have here. This is your new one. 
Uh, you can save this on your desktop. I don't have it saved on the desktop personally because I always go to that folder anyway with my hard drive. You know, you can save it on desktop. It really doesn't matter where this folder is. Just make sure you can find it. So you want to make sure this is on pipe. So you're back on your Unity Mod Manager. You want to make sure this is on pipe. This is on your new your new downgraded version of pipe. So, you work, so where that would be is it would be in Steam, you know, as we showed before. It would be in Steam Apps. You want to click common you want to hit content and you want to make sure it's it's highlighted over depot so make sure it's still highlighted over depot and then what you want to do is you want to press install i already have it installed so mine says uninstall so just press install it should do a little kind of thing it will say fully installed blah 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 you're all good you want to move over to this next bit this next tab where it says mods you want to go back to your google document and you want to download the Pipe, pipeworks map importer so basically, just click or copy this uh, link or click it. I have it open here. Download it. We go to my so I have it in my downloads, and you you should get a zip file. If you don't have a, like WinRAR, it should be fine. If it's seven zip or whatever, but basically all you want to do is you want to drag it from here or wherever you have it in a folder or whatever, and you want to drag it to Unity Mod Manager and see where it says drop zip files here. You want to drop the you want to drag the whole zip file and drop it there and that's all you do all you gotta do is drop it there it's simple as you don't have to do anything else and when you've done that basically you have the pipeworks map importer so what you want to do next is you want to go to the steam folder where your pipe is so steam apps content app depot i want next thing you want to do is you want to go to pipe underscore data and basically you want to make a new folder called custom maps capital c and capital M in one word. So custom maps, capital C, capital M, one word. And this is where you're gonna drag all all your files for your, uh, so all your maps that you wanna put into the game. So basically I have, I downloaded Simple Session yesterday. This is just be a test for me. So show that in folder, wherever it is. So all, all you have to do is drag this into your new custom maps folder. All you gotta do is drag it in there. I already have it dragged in there, so I'm not gonna do it again. But that's all you have to do, simple as. Next, you want to go back to Depot or wherever your, your new pipe is saved and you want to open up pipe. So basically now I'm just showing you how the map importer works. You want to make sure you go to the community center because it's a nice flat ground to spawn from. Uh, a lot of the times, some of the mod maps, if they're kind of uneven and not on flat ground, you won't be able to spawn from a mod map to another mod map. You'll have to exit the game. But it is way handier having this than, you know, dragging mod files and basically getting rid of the map to put another map on it's just way easier so basically when you're in community center all you want to do is press m on your keyboard so you know m <laughs> on your keyboard and all your maps should pop up so i bet i downloaded simple session we'll go into simple, simple session right now just to demonstrate so here we are in simple session and this is the simple session map that we'll be making a video on soon should be out in the next day or two but yeah, that's as simple as you want to change the map, you press M again and pick whatever your map you want to do. So yeah, guys, that's basically it. I hope that was easy enough to get through for you. It is quite complicated, but if you go slow, pause the video, get stuck, uh, just go to that Google document or the photo and it should be real help to you. If you have any problems, please comment below and I'll try my best to help you out. But I have kind of mentioned everything in the video. So if it's not working, it might be something to do with your computer or how you're doing it yourself, you know what I mean? But do comment below and I'll try to help you out if you have any problems. But yeah, guys, that's been it for me. I really appreciate you guys watching the video and taking the time out to, you know, check out my channel and my video. I really appreciate a like. I really appreciate a subscribe. Hit the notification bell to stay updated with all my videos. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.